Oh my gosh, Jeffrey! <laughs> what do you mean, oh my gosh? I need help! <laughs> Are you okay? You look like you're having a heart attack. No, I'm not having a heart attack. I'm suspended 20 foot in the air. Oh my I God. fell off the ladder trying to do the internet. What do I do with you? I don't know, but can you get me? Can you come here and help? Sure, I'll be there in 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the same boat as Gage. Gage! Gage! <laughs> What's going on? My <laughs> <A> ladder fell. <laughs> well, where's it at? I don't see it. <laughs> oh, good crap. <laughs> it's in the floor. Oh. Well, what were you doing? I was trying to get my internet over to Dwayne's. Uh, oh, and you you got caught up? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to run the internet through the roof to get it over there. It's so, uh, it did not work too well. Oh. We got some issues. <laughs> well, hey, I've got something in my truck that you need. <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> I'll be right back. Gage, <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> I cannot believe he just left me. And the only person that offered to come get me just left me hanging. Gage! Look, all you need is UVs. What are those? These are Wi-Fi range extenders. What in the world? <laughs> I've read about those suckers. Are those the ones that go a mile and a half distance? Yeah. Holy, so those are the extenders, right? Yes, they are. They'll go a mile and a half. Holy cow, why didn't no, you tell no me about wires. that yesterday? No wires. No wires. Why didn't you tell me about this yesterday? Because <laughs> I wanted to see you. <laughs> so this is a setup? <laughs> well, I appreciate that, Gage. Uh, All right, so these are you. I've read about those things. I think those would be slick. Yeah, we ought to try them out. All right, well, let's give it a whirl. Today we're going to discuss UV and the different benefits that we can do and the cool things we can do. So let's get into it. Let me show you what the kit starts with. Getting. So you get two of these right off the bat. You get two power adapters and then four cords. And I'll go in and show you what we did to make our application work. So we'll get into that in a minute. You also get two clamps for clamping these down on a pole or something along those lines. They also on the back side, so you can clamp them here or you can actually mount them at these little ears onto a flat surface to mount them. All right, this is gonna allow us to do two locations. One from the shop, down to our office is what we're gonna do, and they're gonna be like a repeater. So it's gonna extend, and it'll give us give us a capability of doing 100 megs a second, which should be plenty for most things that I'm going to do for sure. We're gonna put this out and test it in a real world situation. So I'm gonna go from our power outlet where I've got everything tied in, and we're gonna go 550 feet to our next office and just see how this thing works. I hope it works slick. A PoE power injector. So you'll plug it in, then you'll come in here on the PoE side, plug this in, one side will go to your internet, and the other side will snap into this, and then you got power. So this black button right here, that's how you change the channel and change it to what you want your signal to be. So there's a number inside here, an A and B on this little plug, and it'll go from to what you want to use the channel. All right, there are 16 channels that you can choose from on this, from zero to nine, from A to F, and the current channel number will be displayed on this digital readout, the one you choose. All right, underneath this, there's a tiny switch that you can do from A or B depending on which one you're using in your configuration. All right, and there's a slight decimal point in this, and if it's off, you're in A mode. Decimal point is lit, you're in B mode. Now, after you install the cables, let's put these in here real quick. You put the cable inside, and it seals it up for your cables. So when it's out in the weather. All right, so basically what we've got done so far, I've got everything done inside the building, got my power. So yesterday we worked on getting power up there. So this is kind of a two-pronged project. I needed the power on this side of the shop anyways. So I thought, well, this would be a perfect opportunity to go ahead and wire up 
the outside. That's what, this is why it's a little bit more work. UV is not near as complicated as what I've been doing, but what I've been doing is, since I had to drill a hole through the shop, I thought I might as well go ahead and go on through everything. So I drilled a big enough hole where I could run power to get back to myself, power the unit, but plus I could have power up here for just the shop itself. So what I did, I ended up putting another breaker in here in the box, and then here is our, I've got, and then I've got my cable right here. So we're ready to, so here's my cable. So we're ready to roll on that. So now, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically get this set up. I see that red way back in there. Let me adjust you a little bit so you can see. Right in there is where we gotta get our power. So we got our, our UV, we gotta get that sent through the woods. All right, so that's our next project. Basically, I've got to get this thing lined up. I'm gonna go over there and get that side hooked up, ready to go. Then we're gonna mesh them up, get them joined, and see what we got. I think we're getting close. This will be a, I'm getting excited. I tell you what, if I could have internet over there, life would be a lot simpler. Now, I've got this cable tied back and I've got it going through the bottom of my box, but I may end up doing something a little different. I'm not sure what I want to do. I'm, I haven't quite figured that out yet, but we're, I'm not gonna leave this wire like this. It's here for right this second, but we're gonna fix that a few before we get done with this project. I'm just not sure what to do to keep it out of the weather, but we'll get it. But this mounted up really nice on this pipe. I've got it angled back to our shop, so we're ready to roll. I think this is gonna be slick. So now let's get over here. Let's start hooking up the next building, see if we can't get some Wi-Fi over there. All right, there's the shop over there. Can't hardly see it over there. All right, so that's where that is. There it is. Come across here, and we've got it set up in the window. And let's see what the internet speed we get on that. I think we're going. Oh, this thing's working cool. We've streamed for about two hours. It worked flawless. The thing's set up on our UV at the other office. So now, let's let me get out of this real quick. Fifty-seven here. What did you show? Uh, it's 56, 55, 52. Yeah. It's bouncing around, but I mean, that's close stuff. Both of us running test. 56.4. Well, let's run the test again. And you're on your computer too, doing things, right? And I'm screwing around doing mine. Download speed test. Now here's at the shop. So anyways, that is pretty impressive. So at the other shop, we did everything. We streamed for two hours just to see what it would do. We had no problem whatsoever. It was clear, it ran perfect. I am totally amazed on how well this product has worked. I, we didn't trim any limbs. I didn't do anything. I left it exactly the way it was. I just threw them up. And we even got the other receiver inside a window. So it's inside a window and it still works flawless. We had two computers going. We also had, so two computers, two phones, and our streaming service going on Netflix just to see what it could handle. We were having perfect, we were going through the internet, everybody was doing what they had to do. I mean, it's flawless. I appreciate UV thinking of us and giving, donating this product for us to try because it has been a big help. This is something we've really needed for a long time. In the description of this, there'll be a link for you guys if you'd like to try this product. There's a sale, just click on it. It'll give you a discount. Guys, I sure appreciate it. Let's get on to the next project. Have a great week.